people. Today I'm going to scrap this 50 inch Vivo TV and I'm going to show you how I make money out of doing it. So first up I'm going to take off the space and the stand and then I'll lay it down on the my table. The screen is cracked on this so we're not even going to bother trying to test it. But um, yeah, we'll do that first and come back. So here's underneath the base. This is a big bugger and it's fairly heavy. That's where the TV's attached. Um, with the clean up, this will come up alright. Keep the screws if it focuses. And I will put that on eBay uh, and sell it because people can either break these or they wall mount them and then they decide no they don't want them on the wall but they haven't got their base because they're throwing it out but they sell. I'll put a picture up here of one I sold recently from uh, on eBay and I offered it up for 20, put it up for 20 off the pen, was off at 15 and sold it. Um, so there's your first bit of money that you can make out of scrapping the TV. I've taken all the screws out of the back of this, which when you're doing everything by hand takes a while. But you can see here two pieces of plastic. There's a piece of plastic here and a piece of plastic down the other end. That slotted in there and we've got the speakers. Now these speakers look alright, so these speakers I'll take off, keep all the wires intact and I'll sell those for $15 or so plus shipping on eBay. That's the other one there and you can see this is a, a steel back. I've tested it with a magnet which is a bit sad because I was hoping it might be aluminium. That's why the TV's so bloody heavy. But yeah, now, we'll keep going. Backs off. And unfortunately, all this is steel. But, yeah, we can put up with it. As you can see, some rather chunky aluminium heat sinks, extrusions, sorry. There's another one there. There's another two over there. They're rather big. Uh, not quite sure what board that is. This to operate down the side, which is your uh, operating your pixels, I assume. This is the main control panel. There's a VGA chip underneath there. Um, yeah, with all your inputs and everything. We'll have a look at that when we get to it. Another little board there. We'll check out these pins on these, but I think they'd be silver, not gold. Flat pack there. Just a oscillator. A couple of tiny little tantalum capacitors. <coughs> And these two, well that's your main power, that's your power board there with your couple of transformers. And this one again controls this down the side here which is silicon din flat packs. Um, see there I've just pulled the bits off it. Uh, normally underneath these that's gold plated, but we'll check all that out. And I pulled all the rest of it apart. Damn shame it wasn't aluminium. Anyway, as you can see, there's lots of screws to pull apart. And just be careful with the wires on the speakers if you want to sell them, because they go all the way up to here. Just be careful trying to get your speakers off. I don't know whether you can see in there. 
if it wants to focus. But yeah, they've put a gel over it, which makes it getting these speaker wires out. Because you want to include the speaker wires if you're selling them. Um, yeah, makes it pretty hard to get them out. Cheeky buggers. So what do we end up with, people? Well, I've got to say, I'm bloody disappointed. And apart from the stand and the speakers, which is say 25 bucks worth, and the shred steel, which probably weighs mm, uh, maybe 30 pound, 15 kilos, um, at my prices, <laughs> it's not even worth keeping. But uh, yeah, like for others, you know, there's a few, there's a couple of dollars in it. Um, a little bit of chunk of wire, as you can see. The ribbon wire, disappointed in that. It's all silver contacts. There's no gold in that whatsoever. And there's hardly any gold in this TV at all. That's our power board. A couple of transformers. There's a big chunk of aluminium there, but need to be able to use the heat gun to get that off apart from the screws which you can see there and um, these two boards with the big aluminium heat sinks again with those you need to be able to uh, use a heat, uh, a heat gun to get those off but one of those controls a vertical and the other one controls horizontal uh, your pixels which and they were controlled from this board here which oh, it doesn't want to focus oh this gives me the shits anyway I've already shown you this little board flat pack uh, crystal oscillator and you can sort of see there a little bit of gold in these not a great deal um, little bits of gold in here as well I don't know whether you can see that um, and in that but again rather pathetic uh, this is your main your uh, input board there's a little flat pack underneath that and this is what I'm talking about your, your fingerboards no gold on them whatsoever which is rather sad so yeah two two of those so they're low grade boards um, this is the one that controlled uh, these ones controlled a vertical and this one controlled horizontal these have got little flat packs in there but I don't think they're actually flat packs um, and all the contacts in there are silver which again is rather sad plus those ones in there they're all silver so this whole thing was nearly all silver hardly any gold plate in it whatsoever which is rather sad that probably took me about an hour to do um, come on focus uh, look at that in and out in and out um, I don't I do everything by hand I don't have a um, electric drill to um, make things a little bit quicker um, the glass is pretty well shattered in it but I can show you also like these boards will sell um, like that's a low grade they're low grade they're low grade and that one's a mid grade but yeah they'll sell you get your wire um, so there's a couple of you know 50 cents worth there oh, I'm not quite sure on the prices here um, but yeah there's probably about three or four dollars at least in that there these are weighty uh, the aluminium's like in them's pretty good so at least three or four dollars there and you also have your screen now I'll just I'm going to show you that if you see here 
these sheets here are sprayed with mylar and you can still see the shimmer in them I can't show you real well that is worth dollars but you need a lot a real lot so you can sort of see it there it's got a real shine to it but yeah um, the white this white plastic in front here or in behind sorry um, you can sort of use that if you wanted to um, project could be to make a whiteboard and put that on there yeah and this is another part of the screen not the glass but it's perspex um, I don't know what you could use that for but I'm sure you could find a use I've scrapped better TVs <laughs> yeah um, yeah that was a pretty crappy one actually um, but you never know until you open it up now I know next time I'll do a Vivo it'll be a crappy one uh, so yeah that took me about an hour um, given the prices I've sort of thought about it's probably about $35 worth so if I could probably cut a half an hour off with using an electric drill or a battery drill to get all the screws out because they have a bloody lot of screws and a couple of other tools um, you could probably make more money out of it like you know you, if the 35 bucks for half an hour I mean the stuff has got to sell um, but yeah better than nothing better than nothing so yeah $35 for half an hour's work that's what I'd figure it out as alright folks Fat Bastard Garage is out of here oh no sorry FBG E-Waste sorry FBG E-Waste out of here Ooh.